don't you dare. You and Jake broke up? Are you sure? Claire, what, what do you mean by sure? Well, that it wasn't just another one of your fights. No offense, but you guys split up and get back together so much, it's kind of hard to keep track. No. This time, it was real. <sighs> Caught him in bed with Gabby. What? Yeah. He said to me, he wants to explore, to see where it might go. But you know what? It's not going anywhere. Because Gabby's gone to Mexico, and so he just decided to go out and get smashed. He's sleeping it off now as we speak. So, what, are things on hold between them, or... No. Gabby doesn't give a damn about him. She was using him the entire time. You know what the worst part is? The night it happened, Jake said he wanted to take me out to dinner, right? So I get all dressed up, look really nice, and I'm waiting for him downstairs... And as I'm downstairs waiting for him, he's bloody upstairs getting busy with Gabby. Oh, my God. I can't believe that he would treat you like that. What a jerk. Well, I hope that when he comes crawling back to you, you tell him to forget it, to consider himself dumped once and for all. No, it was the other way around. He dumped me. Oh, I didn't even tell you. He's asked me to move out. Hey, I'm so sorry, Gwen. Look, this is a total bummer, but honestly, I think you're better off without him. And if you need somewhere to crash, I can ask Grandma Marlena if you can stay with us again. Thanks. That's really nice. But actually, I don't think I have to move because Chad took pity on me and he said I could stay. But that might all change because his wife is back. I need you to trust me, please. I do trust you. You're not going to fight my decision? No, I just want what's best for you. And if you think that is being home, then I am behind it all of the way. And selfishly, I am glad that you're home. Well, thank you for your support. I have missed waking up to you every day.